Shamnard traveled to the prestigious Excalibur tournament that features the Sword of Stone like in King Arthur. But who delivered the final dagger? Alexa Pudial, who drilled the final PK to seal a third place victory over Xavier Prep of Arizona. Capping a four in one week overall with victories over Los Alamitos, Iolani of Hawaii, Yerba Linda, and a tough semifinal loss to Cathedral Catholic. Um, it felt really good. I know it was like third place, but still like coming in third place. And Excalibur is a big deal because the teams are all like, they have like very high skill level and they're all very physical. So yeah, it felt good. Shamra passed around the third place plaque and they celebrated goalkeeper Kelly Cahoon as an all-tournament selection and Duke-bound Lily Nabbit, who also had a goal early in the game. Yep, just going in third place. Nothing to it. Calhoun came up big in the shootout, blocking this penalty kick on the first attempt and this one on the second attempt to position Shamrod for the third place victory and she was mobbed by her teammates. It was great. It was um, second time this tournament um, and it was it's always a lot of fun just them coming and um, it's always an, it's nice to be mobbed because we won not you know not the pity mob so it was nice. <laughs> Shamrod was a perfect 4 for 4 in PKs including Cheyenne Delgado, Stephanie Ciceri, Lily Nabbit, and of course Alexa Pudial. But we kind of like contained the game and went off and won in PK, so that, that was good. Lily Nabbit didn't waste any time drawing a foul in the box to draw a PK, and she took it herself for a 1 0 lead in the opening minute. And Shamnaz Giovanna Pereira just missed extending the lead in the second half, hitting the crossbar. It was kind of just like in the heat of the moment going down the field and um, got fouled in the box, and yeah, I just thought we'd penalize him. While Shamnad celebrated his third place finish, only the champions can draw the sword out of the Excalibur stone. No, no, three, one, two, three, nine. So coach Mike Evans' son, Matt, made him a sword when they returned home. It was a perfect finish.